All right, everybody, welcome back. Welcome back. JimmyChurchRadio.com. I'm your host, Jimmy Church. You know how I start off every show. Started off with shouts out to the men and women over here overseas fighting the good fight force in Iraq and Afghanistan. The proud men and women in uniform around this great world of ours fighting the good fight force. Big salute from JimmyChurchRadio.com. I don't know if you guys know. Okay? I don't. But Frank McCourt agreed yesterday to sell the dog. I have been reporting on this and been reporting on the divorce. Everybody knows about my relationship with Vince Scully. Okay, great, fantastic. And my attendance uh, over the last few years in the press box at Dodger Stadium. I've uh, personally witnessed the downfall of the Dodgers. And uh, so now he agrees to sell. And the reasons why he has agreed to sell, I, I don't think everybody quite realizes. I had stated I had stated it would be a crying shame if he walked out of this town with any money in his pocket. If if and the numbers and and the the numbers for Major League Baseball team, especially something as historic as the Dodgers, boggle the mind uh, to purchase a team. It, it scared. It's so big. It scared Mark Cuban. You know, a billion dollars. Okay, and that's the number somewhere between eight hundred million and one point two billion dollars. And the purchase price originally was $430 million. These are numbers that are out there in the public. We all know that. But if he somehow was going to come in and ruin the Dodgers, divorce his wife, steal money, and then walk out of this town with money in his pocket because there's $430 million of a purchase price, sell the team for $1.2 billion and walk away from this city after ruining a team and with money in his pocket, that's a... Oh. But let me tell you why he's selling the team. <laughs> This is how I do it at JimmyChurchRadio.com, KJCR. This is why you come in here. So you can look like a genius in front of your friends. You go to your friends, right here. You repeat what I'm about to read you, you can look like a genius. Check this out. $100 million in personal loans he took out on, uh, on the team. $100 million. $430 million he owes to Fox and Rupert Murdoch for the purchase of the team. $109 million he stole from the Dodgers. Didn't borrow, stole. That, that's in the bankruptcy and divorce paperwork. That's public knowledge. $63 million he owes to ex-players and other teams around the league. And that includes the White Sox. $130 million he owes to his ex-wife Jamie in the divorce settlement to get her to agree that she doesn't own any part of the team. Okay, He's agreed to cut her that check in the spring. So that's $130 million owed. $50 million in the lawsuit with Brian Stowe, who was beat up outside of Dodger Stadium. That comes to a grand total of, are you ready? $978 million. That's why he has agreed to sell the team. $978 million. Now, if, if he sells the team for a billion dollars, auctions it off for a billion dollars. That's hypothetical. That's theoretical. Leaves him with $27 million in his pocket. Okay? And that, my friends, is going to go straight to the IRS. The IRS, the, the, when Jamie McCourt stepped up, Jamie McCourt in court said to the judge, but judge, uh, he, he, t he took out a $120 million loan, personal loan, against ticket sales um, and used that as income and didn't pay taxes. And back then, the judge was like, ho, 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 hold on a minute. You know, <laughs> the, the IRS calls the next day. Now, you can't, everybody has to pay taxes. And, and that's it. So if you're using that money as your personal income, I'm sorry, the IRS, whether or not there is taxes owed on that money, the IRS is going to get involved and try to figure out how you're going to pay taxes on that money. So now the IRS is totally, this whole case is totally visible across the board. How do you, how do you profit off the Dodgers and go and buy seven, eight beachfront properties at $20 million a pop and not pay taxes? How do you write, around, how do you write off everything in your life as no money, but yet, you're buying seven houses. That's right. This is JimmyChurchRadio.com. We'll be back right after this.